Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And today I'm gonna share with you what I eat in a day. Every day is different for me. I don't like to stick to one thing, but I do wanna share at least one day out of my life what I eat, what I really enjoy to eat, and what keeps me the on a thin side, like the thumbnail that you guys saw. So let's get started. So for breakfast, I like to eat, and it's, this is something super recent, but I love to eat blueberries, the frozen ones. I never thought I would like them. It's so interesting because they, I thought they would be like, or I couldn't figure out how to make them taste good after they're frozen. I think I tried it once and I didn't like it, but recently I figured out a way to eat frozen blueberries they taste super yummy and you get the same health benefits and if you don't have a local ones, fresh ones, then that's like the best bet. It has so much uh, vitamins for your health and for the brain, everything. So I definitely need to incorporate more healthy or berries in that particular way to, for, to my diet so I keep my brain sharp. All right, so my breakfast will start with blueberries. And today I'm kind of feeling to eat some cherries as well. And I'll show you guys how I do this. The funny thing about this is the fact that I never thought that blueberries could taste this good frozen. I never really bought them. I'm like, unless it's like a smoothie or whatever, but to eat them like i'm thawed and it's actually really yummy now it's like my favorite thing to do is to eat blueberries for breakfast it's so light and it's so nice but i do switch it up i'll definitely have other days you know what i eat in a day um combinations but one of the lightest ones is definitely this blueberries and i'll show you what i do to make my meal super fast and unthaw them really fast as well all right, so I got my blueberries and cherries. And what I'll do is I'll use boiling water, cover them, and literally wait one minute or so, one up to two minutes. I just drain it and start eating it and they're instantly warm. And I actually like my fruits kind of summery warm. And that does not cook them, but it does them perfectly and super fast. All right, so now I'm gonna enjoy this goodness at my office because this place makes me the happiest in the world. If you guys wanna check out the tour for this office, you can, but it's the sunniest room in my whole house, which makes me so happy to be here. Oh my goodness, like my favorite, favorite place. Every time I walk in here, it makes me so happy i love sunshine like sun is my life this is a fast super fast breakfast i get a lot and this time i wanted to add the frozen cherries i thought that would be good i'm like let me try this new thing and i added some frozen cherries um but no uh for, for one thing they are much bigger than the blueberries so it took way longer for them to thaw because the sizes were different and I keep eating the cherries and they were still frozen inside. So that's one thing. And second, they did not taste as yummy as I wanted them to be. But my blueberries were perfect. <laughs> and I eat a pretty big bowl of them, honestly. And they keep me full because it has a lot of fiber. They keep me full for like a long time, like half a day, whenever till the lunch comes. And so I'm pretty satisfied with my breakfast. It's perfectly sweet. It is filling. All right, so let's move on to the lunch. So during my lunch, I had this dish.
All right, so for my lunch, I'm gonna have some rice with chicken. I actually have the fried chicken. I had to take off all that stuff because it's too fried. Uh, so just chicken and rice and actually a really good salad. I love the sweet short bell peppers, some tomatoes, avocado, and some romaine lettuce. And lots of these bell peppers, I love them. They're so, this is the sweet short ones. I actually eat them as a snack. Like I love them as a snack. They're so yummy. I hate a cooked bell pepper, but the rut one I can eat so that's my lunch right there also I added the prego flavored meat sauce to my rice because it's on the dry side love this a little it goes a long way and it adds a lot of flavor to it I was enjoying this with my hubby and we, both of us were off so that was really nice because I got to spend some time with my husband and we made this huge salad and we enjoyed it. And I honestly was full, absolutely full for the rest of the day. I w had a party in the evening and to my surprise, I could barely eat anything at the party because I was still full from my lunch. So whatever I ate that, day, that morning definitely, definitely filled me up. So for the dinner, I went to a party and I ate this beef, I think it's a beef stew and, and that was actually quite filling. I could barely eat even the half, a uh, half of the piece. I literally brought half to my husband that evening because I couldn't fit it, but I did, um, drink, um, I'm not sure if I showed it, but uh, I did drink hot Giardelli mocha that evening. And I did enjoy a creme brulee. That was really like a highlight. And it was like this small. And I literally shared it with three people at the table because I could not finish it. It was like I started, I'm like, I can, I'm like, you guys start from the other side, but I cannot finish it. For some reason, the whole evening, I could not fit any anything more than But this way, I'm actually proud because I didn't overeat. I didn't overeat my calories. And I don't really, one thing I definitely don't do is I don't count calories. I kind of have a picture of how much I eat. And if I eat like a lot in the morning, I'll eat a little bit less in the evening or try to like manipulate food. But I'm pretty flexible when it comes to food and calories just because the more you control, the more you want the things that you are controlling in the way. So I try to enjoy food and I think that's the good relationship with food when you do not say, no, I can't have it. Because as soon as you say, I can't have it, you want to eat 10. When you say you can, you just enjoy one or two. And you do not surpass your calorie intake for the day. Or even if you do, don't kill yourself for it. Like, let's say that day, I enjoyed sweets. I enjoyed everything at the party. I was able to eat it. Because in the morning, I was able to eat pretty healthy morning food. I mean, I had blueberries, I had a full salad. It was really healthy. And in the evening, I was able to enjoy it. And to my surprise, because I ate so much for lunch, I could barely fit anything in the evening. And I enjoyed it still. I totally enjoyed my creme brulee. And that was awesome. So my advice of what keeps me on a thin side and I'm able to control what I eat is definitely a relationship, a good relationship with food. Do not overthink, at least for me, to be restricting is actually worse. Like I will literally gain weight from restricting myself because I would be so focused on eating so little that I cannot even handle, oh, uh, that I cannot handle days when I'm binging. 
it's bad and it could be I have that I actually do have that things when I restrict myself I'll be binging binging and binging but one um, actually the second advice I want to give about controlling what you eat and how much you eat is kind of fasting here's the reason I think fasting could benefit someone to eat less here's what I have learned to myself is your stomach size matters because when you when I used to eat whenever I was hungry hungry like constantly or whatever it doesn't really work because um like snacking a lot a lot is because one thing um I could be overeating and two I'm stretching my stomach when I'm eating a lot uh, sometimes I would be binging and eating a lot and I'm like how am I not 300 pounds by now like I'll be eating for three months no restrictions whatsoever and I would still be on the thinner side like on the thin side I've obviously I'm gaining weight by five or uh, five pounds or so but I'm not like 300 pounds or I didn't gain two, 20 pounds like over the, that two or three months. And my answer to that is that even though I could be eating out, uh, binge um, eating fast food, I don't eat a lot of it. For some reason, I eat a little bit, even like half a hamburger and half the fries. And my stomach is actually full. And I've done, I pack it and I leave it to eat it like the next half a day or something if I'm, I have that food. But um, what I want to say is my stomach actually takes a medium amount of food. I can, of course, I can force it to overeat. But what have helped me is fasting. Like usually I don't even eat breakfast. And the breakfast I showed you today was about 10 p.m. That's how late my breakfast is. I definitely, I don't even eat two or um, minimum two hours after I wake up. I don't even eat right away. That's just me. And usually I couldn't even, if I drink just water or coffee. So I work from noon and I, my lunch is around 5 p.m. And sometimes I don't even have anything till 5 p.m. Anything entire day. And so that while you are kind you forcing yourself to be hungry, that's when your stomach actually shrinks. When you force yourself till that time. I uh, obviously I every day is different for me. I definitely don't force myself not to eat till five. If I feel like I'm hungry, I actually eat. 11 11 30 and then i have my lunch till uh, i have my lunch at five so i definitely don't force myself so do not do that but once in a while if you are able to force myself to feel a little bit hungry for like a while your stomach will actually shrink slowly shrink and even if you have those binge days and every day like you're eating with no specific control, you can actually eat less and you're satisfied. That's why I'm literally, I stop myself and think, how am I not 300 pounds? I eat so much or so bad sometimes that I'm like, how am I still skinny? That's not make sense. But I actually, if you look at my portions, I do not overeat them like not overeat but the, I'm satisfied sooner before I even overeat so that's definitely something really cool I noticed after so-called fasting or skipping breakfast is you're helping your stomach shrink and you eat less with each meal and you can you don't have to control yourself as much so I know this was a very long, long <laughs> what I eat in a day, but I hope it was a very helpful information. If you're looking to lose weight, to gain weight, or to eat healthy, and you're looking for a good 
um, ideas. I'm definitely will definitely do more videos such as these because I like variety. Every day could be what I feel like eating, and so my ideas are quite different every day. But you will notice that my portions are still decently medium. I'm actually satisfied with less, and. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making more videos. There's a lot of videos in my profile. Check them out. Comment below. And I hope to see you guys next time.